Hey guys, uh, good afternoon. <clears throat> this afternoon we got a unit in. Uh, it's one that we had worked on in the, you know, we worked on it maybe six, eight months ago. Well, on this one, came in, we had a little triangle, and uh, we had a check engine light, brought it in, found out that little, our little uh, dozer injector is not functioning properly or the way it's supposed to, so went ahead and ran some tests. I uh, went ahead and activated, uh, tried to run a regen. Temperature wouldn't go higher than 500. Uh, took the cover off. Well, let me show you, let me show you. Took the engine cover off of the back of the engine. Ran a couple more tests. I did a actuator test for that little uh, dozer injector. Disconnected the line. Uh, used a scanner to do a test. And the injector, there's no fuel going into our dozer nozzle injector nozzle so there I mean over here the injector did come in I mean the injector actually pulsed we know our pressure sensor is working but uh, but our little a little uh, the little metering valve is not allowing fuel to go past the injector to through our lines and into our dozer so I'm going to go ahead and replace that metering block and I'm going to go ahead and run another regen on this one and see what it does. I, uh, I've done these before guys, let me go ahead and take this one off, I'm not going to record it. I'll go ahead and install the new one and then I'll show you the test that I did to check to test for the, you know, the actuator test, the injector test, see how much fuel comes out of that line. Once we get fuel going through there, then we should be able to bolt everything back up start the sucker up and the regen should I mean it should kick in so let me go ahead and get this little metering block off replace it with a new one and then we'll pick it up from there give me one second guys well guys now that we got our little uh, metering block set up there's the old one well it's not that old but the one we removed there's a new one all connected let me go ahead uh, when I disconnected the line I blew air through it just to make sure that the line wasn't clogged nothing wrong with that so let me go ahead and run that test uh, let me wash my hands real quick and I'll come back and show you what I'm doing with a laptop well, guys on this one we already got everything put back on I'm going to go into my tests, key on engine off, you have to run a standard test first at all, I mean all, all the time, you have to run a standard test before you do anything else. Now, just let it cycle, it'll take 15-20 uh, seconds give or take. Test complete. Go ahead and shut it off. Go back to tests. Key on engine off after treatment test. Dozer actuator test. Go over here to this one. And we go ahead and start the test. I had it at 5%. I'm going to go 95 since I re removed that block. All the fuel came out of that line. So I'm going to run it at 95% duty cycle. I'm going to start the test. I'm going to have to do it a couple of times. I have to get fuel to go all through that line. All the way up to my little injector nozzle. It's going to be a little loud because of the engine. But
guys uh, sorry about the noise I had to do with the engine running uh, now we're actually getting fuel into our dozing system dozing uh, nozzle so now I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff together get, get that uh, dog hose back in place and I'm gonna go ahead and perform a regen and hopefully this time it'll actually kick in uh, as you saw I couldn't get it to function properly with my key on engine off decided to start the unit up and ran it on key on engine running and I ran the DSI test well no sorry I ran a de 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 aeration first and then I ran a test and well you saw fuel it came out of that uh, line that's the one that connects to our nozzle our dozer nozzle right there so let me go ahead and get put this all back together and uh, I'll be, be back with you guys in a bit run the regen real quick.
told you guys uh, I couldn't record the end of sitting in the bus. I mean, I was in a rush. Driver was ready to leave, so I had to get it done quick. But, I mean, you guys saw what I did. Uh, replaced that little um, metering block for that seventh dozer, dozer injector. Um, uh, you saw how I ran an actuator, a DSI test, actuator test. And at first it didn't want to work the way it was supposed to. I mean, uh, there was a whole bunch of air trapped in that line. Then finally we got diesel to squirt uh, out of the line. Injector was functioning properly. Connected everything back up. Ran it twice again. Make sure that the, you know, bleed out the air in the line. Get that nozzle primed up. Uh, started it up. Ran the region. Uh, like I said, I mean, temperature was climbing gradually. Once it hit 500, that uh, dozer injector was enabled and it started uh, spraying more di diesel fuel into that uh, onto that exhaust going into that DPF filter that causes it to uh, you know climb in temperature it went up to uh, 1160 something like that uh, soot level was 133 percent and uh, we dropped it all the way down to three so uh, I just want to show you guys I mean uh, we got that one it was a simple regen didn't want to go in reason for it was the metering block uh i haven't been able to find parts you know to buy parts for that metering block be it the little metering valve or pressure sensor or whatever uh they sell those as a whole so we just buy the uh, complete little unit and replace it so uh hope uh that information helps somebody i mean uh things that happen and uh what well, we've kind of figured that one out and got it to uh, function properly so well guys I do appreciate you guys watching, like and comment.